Hey YouTube, in this video we're going to be taking a look at a couple of Sketch Studio Kits. This one here, and I've got another one over here. They're almost identical, except for some minor differences in description and I guess items within. But we'll find out what that's all about right after this short intro. Well, let's go ahead and start off with this kit right now. I'm going to go ahead and show you the box and then we'll tear into it. On the front cover here, we can see it says Home Lobby. That's the trademark. And it says by 3L. It's a sketch studio kit. Special selection by award winning artist. Basic kit, all you need for sketching. It says here it has 66 pieces plus a get to know. Shows some of the items that are in the kit. And then it says all-inclusive sketch studio kit. So basically, it should be everything you need for sketching. That's what it says right there, Wilma. Okay, and flipping this over to the back, it shows you, let's see, it's got a sketch set, two charcoal pencils, one charcoal, two charcoal sticks, one blending stump, and an art eraser. And then it has sketching pencils, four of them, a 2H, HB, 2B, and an 8B. Wow, that's quite the jump. As a sketchbook, 40 sheets of acid-free paper, uh, about 8 by 11, just a little bit bigger than that. Some fine tip pens, two of them, a 0 0.1 and a 0 0.5. And here's to get to know your studio kit. Get to know. All right. Oh, what do we got here? We got watercolor pencils. So it looks like they try to cover the whole gamut here. There's even a pencil sharpener with two holes. Because, as you know, two holes are better than one. All right. So, now, I tried sliding this thing off, and that's just not going to happen. So I'm going to have to do this the old gorilla way. And that is, I'm going to tear into this thing. So, so much for saving this uh, cover here, because that is just not going to happen. All right, we'll get that out of the way. And I got this box upside down. And let's see what we got inside here. Well, See if we can keep this from folding back on us. Right at the very start, on the very top, you have your get to know. Nicely wrapped in this plastic container thingy here. And of course, all you gotta do is just open it up the sticky end, like so, and pull her out. All right, we'll get rid of that. So let's see what we have here. We have a get to know and we have sketch techniques. All right, so the get to know looks like it gives you kind of an introduction to the things that you have in this kit. Now you have the sketchbook as we talked about. We'll take a look at that in a minute. And it's going to give you a little rundown about the sketchbook. Then you have your watercolor pencils. <clears throat> so it shows you how you can use them dry or use them wet with a little explanation. Here are some fine tip pens. It says they're specially formulated black permitted ink in two pens with a 0.1 and a 0.5 nib. So it's very, very fine. Uh, and one that's medium, perfect for calligraphy, outlining, drawing, so forth. Has a two hole pencil sharpener. Over here, it's gonna run down Charcoal sticks in brown and black, and you can see kind of a sample right over here. Charcoal pencils, so those would be the wood encased ones, whereas these are not, of course. These are the sticks. Then you have, it says here, charcoal. So I guess it's the long stemmy ones. 
Of course, no sketch kit would be complete without a kneaded eraser. Shows you there. And a blending stop. Oh, and then of course you have your sketch pencils and there's four of them here. Though I will tell you, it, you know, you can certainly start with four. Uh, it's a good way to start out. But then, you know, you can start filling it out with uh, buying um, more pencils to add to your kit. But this is pretty much a sketch kit. So this is going to get you started in the sketching area. Okay, nothing on the back. Here it gives you some techniques, which is really nice. It's going to talk about the hatching technique. Okay, single hatch, cross hatches, all that other kind of hatch hatch stuff. Okay, so that's all right here. The cross hatchings in there. Okay, goody, 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 goody. All right, shows you what you can do with your fine tip pens. Here's a little bit of uh, techniques on using your charcoal. You have your cylinder charcoal or your sticks or your pencils. So those are your three different charcoals. So you have plenty of those. Then you have your brown, black, uh, charcoal sticks, charcoal pencils, sharpening. So I'm going to give you some pointers on how to sharpen. Now this is a two-pager. So on the other side, it's going to get into drawing circles, how to make spheres. You know, it's going to show how to shape the ball, the shading techniques and everything. So it's great. So it's going to give you some lessons here on how to do some uh, nice little things with your sketch kit. Alright, well let's see the goodies that are inside. That's what I always like. So here you go. Here are your sketch pencils, which we'll even check out a little closer in a moment. But it's four pieces. 2H, HB, 2B, and 8B. Alright, so you get a really dark one in an 8B, which is great. So you, you can pretty much do anything with these four pencils. All right, we don't need to read all that stuff in the back, so I'll just move that over to the side for now. Here are the two pins. Home Hobby, 0.5 and 0.1. All right, sounds good to me. All right, here looks like we have your uh, cylinder charcoals, and we have your charcoal sticks, and we have your blending uh, stump all inside this seven piece set here. It's gonna give you a rundown of what's in there. Okay, your black, your brown, your pencils. Your kneaded eraser apparently is in there too somewhere. I don't see it, but I'm sure it's in there. Let's, let's see for sure here. Ah, there it is, kneaded eraser. All right, so there's that. We'll get that little puppy back in the case for now. We'll check it out in one moment. All right. All right. Looks like pencils are already anxious to get out of their box. Get back in there. All right. So these are the watercolor pencils. If you're not familiar with watercolor pencils, they're kind of cool because they act like regular colored pencils, except if you add a little water, then they act like watercolor pencils. Yeah, baby. Okay. By the way, if you Watch my videos and you're wondering, hey, why is my voice different? Not your voice, my voice. Well, it's because uh, I've been under the weather this weekend. So anyway, I am recovering from a lung infection and it is messing up my voice a little bit. But if you didn't like my voice in the first place, hopefully it's improved and now that it's messed up. So we'll take a look at this and there's your colors here. White, yellow, orange, pink, red, violet, light blue, dark blue, grass green, deep green, brown, and black. Yeah. Find step-by-step -step instructions at homehobby.com. So you can go to the website and get some more step-by-step -step instructions there. So it looks like they're covering everything in this kit. Here we have the two-hole sharpener for the small and for the large. Because remember what I told you, two hulls are better than one. All right, and last but not least is this 90 pound acid free paper, accepts all dry media, that's what it says, check it out for yourself. 
40 sheets. It's a sketchbook. And we we'll might as well use this to test out some of those other things, right? All right, it's a spiral bound, which is really cool. So the papers are gonna turn real easy in here if you wanna keep all your uh, pictures and everything inside the sketchbook. But it's also perforated along the edge here so that you can tear them out if you don't want anyone to ever see them if your sketchbook falls in enemy hands. All right, let's start off with the sketch pencils because that's the world I like to live in, sketch pencils. Now let me just see what kind of quality we're talking about here with these sketch pencils, okay? So I'm gonna pull this thing out, kind of comes out in one of those little things, all right? And we're gonna separate it from its plastic home. All right, these pencils are not pre sharpened, so that's going to be all up to you to take care of. Let's get rid of this. Ah! Sorry. All right. So here we go. We got their black or blackish, I would say, yep, with a silver cap in and kind of a glossy paint job. Nothing fancy. HB. This one is 2H. And this one's a 2B and an 8B. Now, as you, if you know from watching my other videos, when it comes to drawing pencils, I prefer the labeling of the uh, grade of the pencil to be on at least two sides. That way, no matter how the pencils lay, you'll be able to know what the grade is. See, here, if I mix them all up, and then you go, okay, where's that 2H? You gotta turn them all around until you find that 2H, which is right there. Okay, now the next thing we need to do is we need to sharpen these pencils before we can test these out. Now, of course, I have my own pencil sharpeners that I prefer to use. But because this one came with one, and since I am reviewing this product, I might as well use this two-hole pencil sharpener that came with the kit. Two holes, because, well, you know, better than one, right? Yeah, okay. So we're going to use, I guess, that small one right there. So let's check this out. Let's see what kind of a job it will do. And then we can move on. Okay, well, it chewed up the first first time through it, it broke the tip. So I can't see that's a good thing. I'm going to try one more time and then we'll move on to my own sharpeners of choice. It broke it again. All right, two breaks. I'm done with it. Okay, so not thrilled about the sharpener. We'll move that out of the way. Clean up the mess. I'm going electronic here. That's awesome. Okay, I've made a mess on my paper, but no big deal. There we go, look at those. Chewed up some pencil though, but that's okay. All right, so let's do some shading. Let's see how well these things shade. 
and I'm going to use the 2H here because this is the lightest one that I have here. Wow. That's the darkest 2H I've ever seen. Is that a 2H? Yeah, sure enough. I'm going to have to compare it to another 2H because maybe it's just the sketch paper. You know, sketch paper does does have an effect, you know. It's smooth. It's a smooth pencil. Alright, well there we go. That's a 2H. Wow, that is that's a pretty dark 2H. The next one is an HB. Okay. Okay, so that's good. All right, so HB. Then we have a 2B here to work with. And then, of course, the 8B should be substantially darker than this 2B. So let's just do that right here. Good old soft pencil there. Anyway, there you go. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get my... Mitsubishi, just to, just to test out that 2H, because, you know, um, it could be the paper that's making it look so dark, but let's make sure. So here's a 2H. Remember what I told you about having the tone written on more than one side? See, isn't that great? That's what I like about these Mitsubishis, you know? All right, so here's a 2H, which is what that's supposed to be. So let's see how this looks. All right, so you should quickly see what I was talking about. I knew that that 2H looked a little dark. So keep that in mind that uh, the tonal ranges on the sketch pencils that come in this kit aren't exactly uh, the same kind of tones you'll see in a lot of professional pencil kits, but they'll, they'll do, they're fine. But there you go, there's a difference. See, that's lighter than that. So that's a 2H in most kits, uh, professional kits, but you know what, that's fine. You're, you're only going to be sketching, see, that's what this is, it's a sketch kit. All right, so those are the pencils. Now the next thing we got here are these, these pens. I would do some cross hatching. Stop it. All right, we're gonna do some cross hatching with these things so you can check it out. Here's the point one. All right, nice little tip on there. See that? Black barrel says Home Hobby by 3L. And then it has this just kind of looks like it'd be a twisting thing, but it's not. All right, so let's check this out, huh? Yep, fine black lines. We'll do some cross hatching here. Very simple technique, anybody can do. All right, can you see that? Probably not. Here we go. All right, and then the medium size 0.5 here. All right, so those are nice fine tip pens for those of you who like to draw with an extra fine tip eraser pens. now. So this is great. I'll save that for a rainy day. And let's see what well, we got some charcoal pencils here. Now these charcoal pencils, you're gonna notice there's nothing written on the barrel. So I'm not quite sure if this is a hard or a soft charcoal pencil because it's just not listed. Kind of medium to me. It's smooth. I'll definitely be able to use this. You can definitely sketch with it. All right, and this one, so it looks like they're just two of the same thing. 
They both don't have any kind of markings on them. Wait a minute. They're not the same. All right, so one is darker than the other. So obviously this one's the soft. You might want to put a piece of tape on here to have it say soft or scrape the paint off and then write it on the wood. I used to do that in school, put my name on my pencils because they disappear. And this one here is more of a medium. I'd say that's probably a medium. So there you go. But it's kind of odd that they didn't uh, they didn't label these puppies. Okay, you got your blender. Everybody should know how to use a blender. These are cool to have. I use them all the time in my drawing. See, so you just go through there and you blend to your heart's content. Look at that. All right. Then you got these charcoal branches here. These cylinders they call them I guess in this kit very very delicate very light used to be some kind of a a branch of a tree and then these burnt that puppy up pretty good see and you just go in there and, and you draw with that all right so not too much demonstrating with that thing then you have your sticks here's your black charcoal stick Whoa, okay, that's an aggressive black there. And then we have our brown one. Look at that, is that cool or what? All right, so that's it for that. Last but not least is going to be the um, watercolor pencils. So let's get those over here. So anyway, just kind of quickly, we'll just take a look at a couple of colors here to mess around with. Uh, let me see, let me just take this blue here and let me take this green here. I'm just going to take a couple of colors here. Now these are pre-sharpened, whereas the graphite pencils were not. And they will show you on here, it's got the paintbrush. That lets you know it's watercolor as well as it's going to tell you right here. Duh. Okay. Home hobby. Nice paint job. It's supposed to match the color of the tip here. So that's good. And even the tip on the end here, see? Then it's got the gray bar on the end here, the gray cap. Okay. So you can come in here and on that goes on pretty nice. So this is a pretty nice coloring pencil. Yeah, I like this. This is really good. I recently did a colored pencil uh, review, you might say, and um, was trying out all kinds of different ones, and this one feels pretty good. So this is really good. Nice colors. Very vibrant. Good pigment, I guess you can say. All right. So there you go. Notice they do match the colors of the thing there. And I guess the thing that it's supposed to do is, you know, you can add water to it. And I've got a video on watercolor pencils. But we'll go ahead and test this one out real quick. Now I'm going to use this, this Arteza water brush pen here. This is really cool because you fill it up with water and you have a little push thing here. And it has a brush on the end. There's a wide brush here. And we're going to go ahead and test this little puppy out. Get some water in there. Okay, there we go. Now we got it. All right. Check that out. Isn't that cool? So it turns into water paint. All right. Get some of that blue over here so I can get into the green now. And there you go. Now I'm painting with green. So for those of you who like watercoloring and colored pencils, well, there you go. Get to play with that. All right, guys. Well, that's about it for this kit. 
And just real quickly here, we're going to take a look at the difference between the, that kit that I just looked at and this here. And that this one here is going to teach you how to sketch a cat with award-winning artists. Okay? This person right here. And this one says it's over $45 value. Alright, so again, i got to butcher this thing here. It's the only way to get in here. But we're just going to quickly take a look at the difference here. And that is, it has the same get to know. Feels a little thicker. So, going in the back here, rip this open. Because I just love ripping things apart. Here we go. We'll take this out. What do we have here? Okay, here's your get to know. It tells you everything's in the kit. We've already pretty much covered a lot of those things. They're pretty much the same. Here's your sketch techniques. Same thing. But now, look at this. You also have a step-by-step -step on how to draw the mountain by Healy Coed. Something like that. So you're going to learn how to draw a mountain. And there it's step by step. I'm going to show you how to draw this mountain. Draw a little boat there. And then you end up with something like this sketch right here. Isn't that nice? Okay, so step by step instructions on how to do that. Then, step by step instructions on how to draw a cat by Robin Berry. Okay, it's going to teach you to draw the circle, little triangles here, you know, on this grid paper. And then teach you how to get the eyes going, the body, the head, the shading. And then it's going to give you a reference photo that you can use. Notice it's going to use the grid method, like I like to use a lot of times, the grid method. And then it gives you a grid that you can draw it on the grid if you like. And then here's one finished product. So there it is. There's one quick sketch of a cat. All right, pretty cool. All right. And then what do we got here? A giraffe. All right, so you get a step-by-step -step on how to do a giraffe. All right, so you've got like three different lessons in here, step-by-step -step lessons that are different than the other kit. Uh, you got those two pens that came out of the case, but that's okay, no biggie, no harm, no fall. Got a two-hole sharpener because two holes are better than one. You got the same old thing as the other kit. Everything else should be the same that we've covered, book and all. All right. So the difference between the two is the three step-by-step -step drawing lessons. All right. So when you decide on what kit kits you want, uh, you can get the one that has the drawing lessons or the one that has the no drawing lessons. But they all have all the same goodies in there. And uh, it is everything you need to sketch. And if you are a beginning artist, and let's say you do not have any supplies at all, and you're just starting out, well, this is one way to get pretty much the majority of things you're going to need all at one time. All right. Well, there you go, folks. I hope you like this review of the Home Hobby by 3L. Uh, There'll be a link down in the description below as to where you can get these kits. If you like this review, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching.